Hey everybody, don't go to sleep yet. You gotta stay up with me. Ain't no one going to sleep. Y'all got me up all night doing this big old layup. And you wanna go to sleep? I'm going to put three layers of this 10 ounce on there, then I'm going to hit it with some of my heavy stuff. One layer of that, and we'll be done. You know, it just amazes me still how a guy can put two gallons of epoxy on a wing and pop it off. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's some, that's some pretty good glue I'm spreading on this stuff. It'll just come right off. That's the plan anyway. You know I tried this mold release one time. I was back a long time. I was molding up one of them racers. And uh, they got this stuff at the resin store. This was before Associated Industries. This is from this old boy who used to make it for Boeing. But he had some uh, stuff in there in an aerosol can. Someone on RC Universe even mentioned it the other day. I thought I'd try some of that stuff. You know, it said for industrial use. Spray your part, you know, once and and you don't even have to do it that often. I thought, man, this stuff is cool. I read the directions. I did it just like it said. I took a built airplane, a nice airplane, and uh, sprayed that mold release on it just like it said. You wasn't supposed to use no wax with it even. And you want to talk about something that stuck, man. Oh, that was the pits. I destroyed that airplane getting that mold off. And then I had to turn around and rebuild the airplane. So that guy's question on RC Universe. Yes, I have tried that RC, that aerosol stuff. And I'm done with it, man. <laughs> I'll just stick to the good old part off. You know? Actually, Tom Cook says he don't even use part oil. He just uses wax. I'm a little scared for that. Oh, man. That would just be disastrous if this piece stuck. Just disastrous. The trash this wing getting it apart. Oh, no. This ain't worth I don't know. I sure didn't care much for that stuff. Man, it's been a long day, people. And I ain't done yet. I know about half of you went to bed already. Gonna catch you up in the morning. That's no fair. Once you start a layup like this, you can't stop till it's done. See, I really didn't get started soon enough. I got started after lunch. And I needed to get started about 8 in the morning. But I had so much stuff to do this morning. Just couldn't quite make it. down a little bit.
Tell you what, after I try to get this all spread in, I can take me a little break and go ahead and load these movies. Just so you know, I didn't quit for the night. Just wonder how many troopers are going to hang in there with me. Come on, guys, don't give up yet. I know their minds are getting heavy. <laughs> Y'all wanted to see this live, so this is what I'm doing. Instead of me just popping in the next day saying, see what I did with the old finger. I could use me a little break. I'm gonna take me a little break. It's alright, ain't it? Better check it with you guys. You guys are slave drivers, man. Y'all being a little hard on me. But I told you I'd give you some videos and I told you I was gonna build a bomber, so. I guess I kind of got myself into it. Now I'm building it 10 minutes at a time. Ain't that something? <laughs> You guys know this is all possible because of that new camera. You know how long it takes this? It don't take that camera with that automatic download. No time. Minutes, like 10 minutes in that. My computer used to take like six hours. Even Sandy's computer took a couple hours to download a movie. Now I could do them in minutes. So, 